So this is it. This is the nice little um, fire area. There's Lloyd. This is the Penhody Outdoor Center. It's nothing special, but it's something. So that's pretty freaking special because if they didn't have this hostel here, it would make it way harder. Here's the kitchen area. And when you stay here, you can get coffee and stuff. And they, there's all of that. And then here's the bunks. We stayed on that big bunk right there. And there's a seating area and laundry and pretty paintings. A decent bathroom. And then over here they have the hiker box where if you need anything and someone else left it, it's free. So this is how we live. Paige, guess what? This is similar to your style. And then here's the hiker board where everyone for this year signs in. We signed here with lots of butt love. So we just got dropped off. We're at the very beginning of the Penhody. Right there's the very first blaze. We are getting ready to head out right now. Happy trails. Happy trails. Here we come. Here's all the official stuff for the beginning of the Penhody Trail. And it seems like the rain is gonna begin, so we need to put our rain jackets on. It's 9.15 and we are out of here. the rain. Look at that. Straight. Here's the tower. Closed due to I get some renovations done. Hey, you got a swing. Let's go check it out. We are up at the top of Flag Mountain. There's the fire tower. Lloyd's over taking pictures. There's a nice big um, fire pit. It's really nice up here. But look at that weather behind us. There's some fun stuff coming our way. Ah, what a beautiful day to start the Pinhoti. They're in the middle of doing whatever they have to do to get this all reopened since COVID and everything else to make this a really awesome place. This is so cool. I love that. Ah. And they have a little swing. Awesome. That's where he came from, the tower. Trail. Of course, the cabins. 
Here we got the caretaker's cabin, Flag Mountain. Usually sunny, nimble well. But he's off hiking the Pinhoti and onto the Appalachian Trail at 82. So good luck, Sonny. I got some thunder. So that is not the caretaker's cabin. That is over there. Nice big picnic area. And the cabins. Right now they're only open on the weekends. Our first little view out here on the Pinhoti. They got a nice little bench out here. Look at all the storms and fog. Hey, baby. Hello. I hope it stays just like this the rest of the day. It can 100% on me all day long if it's like this. We just gotta be very careful not stepping on slippery shit or stepping on a rock that tips because that would not be awesome. Our first water crossing. Lloyd in his umbrella. Oh, that's not. So here's the first shelter. It's like a 2.2 miles. And there it is. Want to check it out? Yeah. All right, Penny Tony Trail to the left. Uh, to the right. The struggle is real. It literally took me about two minutes to get my phone open to get my fingers dry and as you see I'm under my umbrella but it is gorgeous up here we just made it up to the top of somewhere with a nice view and semi-flat ground. Um, it was a fun little hike. But as you see, it's raining and we're dealing with the fun of wet fingers and phones. There have been some cool stuff that we missed because I couldn't get my phone open. It's 11.30. Look at all this fog up here on the ridge. My feet are officially soaked through and my butt down has been soaked for quite a while. The only thing that's dry is my shirt. Woohoo! Hiking in the rain, I had to stop because I can't eat, hold two trekking poles and an umbrella. Just doesn't happen. But even though it's raining, it's beautiful. All right, we're getting close to the first water source. It's about half, less than a half mile. We're gonna load up before we go on the road walk. We got to our water source. 
And there's just been so much rain that the water's all muddy and murky. At least there's a Dollar General and a gas station up ahead. And we both have water left, so. Not bad, not bad. And the mosquitoes are out and we're dealing with lots of slippery shit and rocks that tip. All right, back at it, putting you away. Have a great day. All right, we just did the 6.2. About to come out to the road, turn right, and start the 6.2 to the campsite. Majority of it's gonna be road walking. Let's see this car going by. So this is part of our road walk, extremely rural. Hear the thunder in the background? Not so bad for a road walk, considering the ones on the Florida Trail are way nastier than this, or at least for day one of road walks. It's what time? Uh, 4.30. No, no, 2.30. 2.30. And we're still hiking in the rain. But it's not that bad. On our road walk. Pretty cool. Ish. Alright, about three and a half miles of road walking. A little bit of hard pavement. Now we're about two miles to the camp. Pinhote. It's so pretty out here. Now we're back in the woods. We have about two miles until we get to our campsite. Um, it's gorgeous. Check it out. There's a little log bench over here by the creek where the two converge. Nice. Oh, this might be slippery. where the two creeks converge. It's a pretty steep step there. Mind you, our feet are semi-dry-ish. Woo, balance. Woohoo! Mm. 
Look at how beautiful this is. We just had to cross it. There was no way to possibly avoid fully soaking our feet again. But it's so beautiful. There's like three people up ahead of us. Not by much because their footsteps, I could still see the tread in the mud. All right. This is some challenging footing. This is crazy challenging terrain for footing as we're going right next to this beautiful river. Look at this, whoa! Go ahead, here we go. Another water crossing where it's pointless to even try to keep your feet dry. Lloyd tries. I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna walk through it. Uh, and that's how it's done. just cross the stream to get to our camp and we have a gear explosion all the wet clothes are hanging up trying to dry got our bags food tents already set up with our sleeping bags it's time to go eat hi all we're in our tent at the end of day one it was quite wet today very wet we well, here at the campsite at mile, what, 12.4. There was three older gentlemen that were here. We had dinner with them and had some good conversations, and now it's time to turn in. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.